I'm yet to catch a trout since trout season had opened. It's actually the Saturday before Easter, Easter Eve. And uh, we happen to be driving through. We're going to fish a flooded Ishua Creek for some flooded Ishua trout. The Ishua is known to be one of the best trout streams in western New York, one of the most heavily stocked trout streams in western New York anyway. So uh, hopefully we catch something. I don't know if it's been stocked yet or not. They usually don't stock this till later in the season, but it is late April, so hopefully it's stocked, and uh, hopefully we can pull out a trout. We don't have a lot of time though. Only got about an hour before dark. It's hit on that last cast, so they're in there. Film this cast this time. There we go. Heck yeah. Finally, first trout of the trout season this year. <laughs> Other way. Could keep them, actually. I think we'll release everything today. I don't feel like cleaning fish. These are stockies, though, so, you know. <clears throat> I obviously always encourage catch and release of wild fish, but, uh, again, the issue is very, very heavily stocked. There are some wilds and holdovers in here, but it gets stocked with so many fish that um, this is one place where I do keep fish, but we're letting them go today. A couple casts. This run's usually very productive for me. See what it produces today. There we go. <laughs> Jumper. I'm recording still. <laughs> I wonder how long I've been recording for. Do we got a brookie on this time? Let's see. I don't know. It's another brown trout. Probably going to get hate because I don't have my net and stuff. Okay, cool. He's off. <laughs> Again, just driving through the area. I wasn't even necessarily planning on trout fishing today, but, you know, drove by the creek and I expected the creek to be unfishably flooded. It's it's fishably flooded. <laughs> We've had a ton of rain lately. Um, so our surprise conditions on this creek are as good as they are. We've got on our first real trout of the day. First real trout of the day. Oh, the other trout were fake trout. This one's a real one, though. Now he's going upstream. Oh, that's a real trout, guys. Look at that. All the others were fakes. This one's real, though. 100% real. Off my spoon now. Come here, Chester. Whoa. I think I'm, I don't know if this is four. This is a six pound test, not four. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, and settle yourself down. Settle yourself down and come here. There we go. That's a real trout. There he goes. As you can see, it is now dark, so I guess that means it's time to call it quits. I'd say that was a successful 45 minutes of fishing, especially considering I wasn't planning on fishing here at all today. Everything's flooded out where I live, and I'm just a half hour north of where I live, and, uh, and this creek's in fishable shape, so surprised to see it in fishable shape. I know I wasn't 100% prepared today with my net and stuff. I, I wasn't planning on fishing here today, but issue A was fishable. We caught some fish. That last brown trout was actually very decent size, so I'm happy. We might even come back here tomorrow. It is now Easter Sunday. Um, we caught a few fish at the Ishaway yesterday, so decided to drive back here. It's a little bit flooded still, as you can see. We got a ton more rain last night, but this creek still looks fishable. Decided why not stop at this spot uh, and uh, see if we can catch any trout here, you know. I'm not going to drive a half hour if I don't have to. This spot's only about 10-15 minutes from my house. So I definitely saw a little trout jump right out there as soon as I got down here, but can't get anything to bite. Not hitting spoons, not hitting spinners, not hitting the trout magnet. So, I guess we move on. I don't know what else to do. Mix it up a little bit today. Fish the other side of the road. And uh, see what we can catch. Man, oh man. Maybe I need to switch presentations. Seriously, if I can't catch trout up against this log jam, 
unsubscribe to my channel because I suck at fishing if I can't catch a fish against here. In an attempt to keep you guys subscribed, I switched to a little spinner. Apparently the spoon that was working yesterday isn't going to work today. Definitely seems to be more of a struggle today than it was yesterday. They're hitting right off the bat. I'd say this one's a real trout. Yeah, you're a real trout. You're not a fake one. Not planning on keeping them today. We got a lot of food still from Easter. My sister actually won like a seven-person family dinner from Tops, one of those catered meals. So shout out to Tops for hooking up my family this Easter. In any event, this trout gets to swim free as a result. <laughs> He's a good one. He's a good 13-incher, I'd say. Solid 13 inches. All right, buddy. We'll see you later. Oh, I got my cell phone today. I could be taking pictures. Oh, well. Hopefully, we'll catch a bigger one to get a picture. It's got to be one of the biggest trees I've seen in western New York. Guessing that's a cottonwood. I'm not positive. The tree is gigantic. Look at my hand compared to it. Yikes. That tree over there in the water on the other side. Man, that's another giant tree. I forgot how big the trees were back here. Holy crap, what the F was that? I don't know what that was. <laughs> I don't know if that was a duck or a green heron. There we go. Whoa. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Did you guys see that hit? I almost pulled the rod right out of my hands. Here I am recovering from that freaking bird that just attacked me. Ay, ay, ay. There's fish in this run. <laughs> I don't know why they're not up here where it looks all beautiful. I'm catching nothing. And I'm getting hits over here. It looks like nothing out here. <laughs> now here's where I'm getting hits. where it's all grown in and difficult to fish. I don't know if I just hit something or if that was another fish hit. There we go, finally. Through the brush too. Uh oh! Oh, he came off. <laughs> uh, oh well, I consider him caught. I could have yanked him out of the water if I really wanted to. I was gonna try and get him in my net and get a nice picture, or get him in my net, or, or and or get him beached over here and get a nice picture. But um, whatever. Man, that was the biggest out of today and yesterday. That was an 18-incher. That was an 18-incher. <laughs> he swiped it twice. Hit it the first time, didn't hook up. Hit it the second time, had him hooked for a second. You can see the hooks on the spoon are pretty rusty. This thing's pretty old and beat up. <laughs> I put on a bigger spoon, too, with the theory that it might catch bigger trout. I also keep hearing about the pike in this stream. I've never caught a pike here in Ishue, but apparently they're becoming a lot more common. And um, the spoon can also double down as a pike spoon. It's a daredevil spoon. I mean, they're great pike and trout lure, just like uh, the crocodile. So, oh, man, that thing got my, that got my adrenaline going a little bit. Whew. <laughs> that was a trout. That wasn't a pike. Got a good look at him. Man, he was a good 17, 18 inches. Thanks for watching. I guess it's time once again to call it quits. Ironically, we did better here yesterday fishing for 40 minutes than we did today fishing for two hours. We only caught two fish in two hours. Action was definitely much slower today, but it was a much colder day. I think the fish just weren't as active. I'm honestly still shocked that the stream is even fishable. Uh, only saw a couple of people today. Nobody was here yesterday. Uh, I don't think Western New York even realizes that this stream is fishable. I mean, I would have never driven the half hour here from Olean if, uh, if I didn't happen to be out here visiting a friend yesterday and see that the creek was in good shape. So, 
you know, it's nice to get out here without a lot of fishing pressure and get on these stocked trout. Missed the one big one today, but, you know, we caught that one very decent-sized trout yesterday on the steep bank here without a net. So we got lucky yesterday, and today we got unlucky. So I guess it equals itself out. Thank you guys for watching once again. Happy Easter, and uh, we'll catch you in the next fishing adventure. Oh no, he's taking me into the snag. <laughs> Ooh, it's a good one. It's a real good one. I should have been filming that first cast. I, as soon as I made the cast, I turned on the camera, but I still didn't get the hit quite on film. I'm fighting him upstream is the problem. Trouble here. It looks like a... I say he looked at a salmon for a second. <laughs> oh, hey, look at that. He came off the hook, too. Boy, he's all beat up. Looks like he's been definitely a hatchery fish. Quick picture, and then quick release. Alrighty. See ya, Buster. He's ready to go.